Here's how the game works. Two combatants enter, only one leaves. The objective? To smush your opponent's head leading to their untimely death. This season on Super Smush Brothers, A hot battle is unfolding! Suicune, the legendary water-type Aurora Pokemon. What Pokemon will appear next? Gardevoir, the psychic and fairy-type Embrace Pokemon. Suicune versus Gardevoir. Suicune, legendary, water-type. Gardevoir, psychic fairy, not legendary, can Mega Evolve. Uh, they, I, I'd say they're on equal footing stats-wise when she Mega Evolves. Yeah. Suicune, has, I just found out, is only water and not ice, but it has a lot of ice moves. Gardevoir is very psychic, so they don't really... Can I? I think I might have okay, this yeah, pictured in my head. Because I'm struggling, so go for it. Suicune freezes Gardevoir out the gates. Yeah. It's going. It just did that move with uh, Pikachu Libre. And it worked flawlessly. It's going in for the, for the finishing blow of the bite. And Gardevoir crushes its head with that with that psychic move you mentioned. Interesting thing you just brought up, because do you think that Gardevoir, even frozen solid, can do Psycho, whatever it's called? I think it's called Psycho Crush, but that might be a Frieza thing. <laughs> you you think you think Gardevoir, can, even though she's frozen solid, can quick enough do Psycho Crush before Suicune even gets a chance to bite her? Because if it can bite her. Bite is actually a dark type move. Psychic and fairy are weak to dark. So that might be a really powerful bite hmm. if it can pull it off. But you're saying it's not fast enough. I think Gardevoir's getting frozen, getting that move ready, and it comes together before Suicune can reach her. That was just my thought. Yeah. Now I'm wondering if Suicune's too fast for that. Well, I'm, I'm thinking that... Because are you thinking what I'm thinking? That even though Gardevoir's frozen solid, she can still use mind attacks. I don't see why not. Yeah, me either. Unless I mean, she's obviously, unconscious. Obviously, in the video games, if you're frozen solid, you can't do anything. But in a real life, uh, we're talking real Pokemon. <laughs> um, if she was frozen solid, especially in the world of Pokemon, she could probably still live and It'd probably still use her mind. Which Pokemon is, her is an from. anime. That would be a very anime thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah no I'm I'm agree I I am agreeing with you I think uh, I think that's a good scenario and I think Gardevoir wins again. And there goes the battle. A hot battle is unfolding. Mewtwo, the psychic type genetic Pokemon. What Pokemon will appear next? Garchomp, the dragon and ground type mock Pokemon. Mewtwo is psychic and then psychic fighting. Garchomp is ground dragon. Well, it's sort of the same exact conversation we had last time, where Garchomp is not a legendary. He he's close. The, the, actually, the you know the how there's always a dragon like Dragonite and Tyranitar. Yeah. They're refer stats wise they're referred to as pseudo legendaries because they're close, but they don't quite have the stats of legendaries. Okay. So, but we have a pseudo legendary Mega Evolved versus an actual legendary Mega Evolved. And I'm I I'm quick to say that Mewtwo wins again just based on that, um, but they're both really powerful. Like I think this, and they don't really have stats that matter. Like he's not rock, he's ground, so he's not weak to fighting, and he's not fairy, he's psychic fighting, so dragon isn't weak to. Yeah, it's not. I it's their stats don't really matter. I think it's gonna come down to raw power, and we've already determined that you know they're at 100% vitality in between matches. I, and I think we're just having a, a talk again about power, raw power. Who's more powerful? And I think it's Mewtwo again. Or who's quicker? Who's quicker? I mean, I could look up their stats, but I want to... Here's the thing. I want to say Garchomp is quicker, but Mewtwo can teleport. And, and Garchomp considerably cannot. Garchomp can burrow underground, which is, is a big part of his moveset, uh, at least in Pokémon, and is a pretty big advantage because Mewtwo can't do that. Do we think that Garchomp is smart enough to dig underground and get the drop on Mewtwo before Mewtwo can do something so powerful that he can't retaliate. I feel like he'd have to do it from the get-go. Yeah. And Mewtwo might be cocky enough to not assume that he'd do that. Right. Well, maybe, yeah. Mewtwo's very intelligent. 
let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's say he makes it underground. Okay. What happens from there? He, I'm going to say that he burrows behind Mewtwo and tries to get a sucker punch in. Not the Pokemon movie sucker punch, but an actual <laughs> sucker punch. Um, and then from there, maybe he even tries to go for it. And if he's successful, probably not because Mewtwo can teleport. And also has barrier. It, Mewtwo has a lot of options for this particular fight. It's a wonder he came in second last time. <laughs> He'd uh, have to fight a black hole to if lose. Only he, yeah, if only he wasn't fighting fucking Majin Buu from <laughs> Dragon Ball. No, I think Mewtwo wins again, but I think Garchomp put up the best fight that Mewtwo's had so far. Except for the disqualification. <laughs> except for except for the when we put Mewtwo up against the impossible. <laughs> and there goes the battle! A hot battle is unfolding! Gardevoir, the psychic and fairy type Embrace Pokemon. What Pokemon will appear next? Blastoise, the water type shellfish Pokemon. So, like I like I thought, it's it we're coming down to the battle of Pokemon that can mega evolve. Mm. So Blastoise is water, even when he mega evolves, and she's psychic fairy, so their types don't really uh, there's no big type advantage there. Do you think her one crushing psychic move can get through a shell quickly? Well, See, that's the thing with all these psychic moves. If he sees an attack coming and he puts his head in his shell, she could just attack his mind through the shell. You think she can crush his head through the shell? I'm saying she gets at his brain and she does some... some Because the shell isn't going to protect him from mental damage, right? So I'm, I'm saying she... She, like, attacks his psyche, I don't know, maybe even forces him out of the shell and then goes from there. It's not magic, though. I think we do have to bring it back to they do have a move set. Okay. They do have certain things they can do with their psychic powers. It's yeah. not just whatever they feel like. You okay. Know? I, yeah, I think we need to limit the psychic abilities because they are limited. They have certain moves that they can do, and uh, okay. beyond that, well, it's up to speculation. That being said, if... Blastoise does withdraw, which is the move where he tightens his defenses and goes into his shell, and she does something like psychic or confusion, I think he takes damage from that. Can he move while he's in the shell? Yeah. I think he can, right? Yeah. If he's on the move, she can't necessarily get to him. Um, well, when he's in the shell, he sort of has the one move, which is like, I'm going to spin and propel myself forward or away or whatever. Yeah. Um, sorry. What was your question? I just I think he does that move right off the right out the gate. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I think he could easily crush that skull. Not saying he gets a perfect shot right out the gates with that right. shell move, but if he's on the move, I think it's a little harder for moves. psychic moves to hit. Okay. Do you think that Gardevoir in that moment is smart enough? And methodical enough to realize what's happening and In like dodge, get out of the way, or maybe even put up a shield or something. Probably, <laughs> uh, probably. Do you think it's just uh, attack and evade till Blastoise gets too tired? It could be, honestly, because like I agree with you, he gets one good hit in and she's done. Yeah, but does he get that hit in? It's Depends on I'm how at. fast he can he can yeah. propel himself. And I, honestly, I'm gonna say not fast. He's pretty huge. Yeah. And he gets bigger when he mega evolves. I'm assuming at this point they're both mega evolved. Yeah. Because he can retract the cannons, right? Mm hmm. But not the big one, I bet, when he mega evolves. Oh, I don't know. Because it's huge. I bet you that one has to be out at all times. Yeah, this one's tough. I think either of these people could uh, could win. I think Gardevoir wins, but if you think Blastoise wins. No, no, no. I, I, I'll give you that. I think Gardevoir could take it. Okay. And there goes the battle! Mewtwo, the psychic type genetic Pokemon. What Pokemon will appear next? Gardevoir, the psychic and fairy type embrace Pokemon. Gardevoir versus Mewtwo. In the finals. Yes. So, here's the interesting part. Mewtwo Mega Evolves, and then he's at a type disadvantage. Yeah. Because now it's psychic fighting versus psychic fairy. I think we have to have a conversation like we did with Charizard. Do we think Mewtwo intentionally does not mega evolve 
so that he doesn't have a type disadvantage. And if he doesn't Mega Evolve, is he still powerful enough to win? Alternatively, if he does Mega Evolve, is he still powerful enough that it won't matter and he can still win? Right. Is Mega Evolving worth it, I guess, is what we have to have a talk about. I'm going to leave this to you. Okay. I feel like you know more about one of these two Pokemons than I do. Okay. I mean, so right off the bat, we're talking about a legendary and a non-legendary, obviously. So the stat increase on Mewtwo might be enough that it won't matter. But, like, if you are even a hint of fighting type and someone, you, even even though the other type you have is, is psychic, if you're just a smidgen of fighting type, if another Pokemon uses the strongest psychic type attack on you, I think you're gonna be pretty down down for the count so i feel like and mewtwo is very smart i think that if it's a talk between intelligence i think both of these pokemon are pretty intelligent and i actually do like that it came down to the two psychic powerhouses i did not think gardevoir would make it this far i think mewtwo is more intelligent between the two of them and i think he's smart enough to know that he shouldn't mega evolve but if you as you brought up earlier i think he's cocky enough to assume that he can win without Mega Evolving. Yeah. If he doesn't Mega Evolve, for the sake of argument, I'd say stats-wise they're on equal footing. That being said, I feel like Mewtwo's intelligence level is still higher than Gardevoir's. Because he doesn't Mega Evolve in a Y. If he Mega Evolved in a Y, then game over. He's the smartest being on the planet or whatever the hell, and he's like double psychic now or whatever. Mm. But we, we gave him X, which is the fighting one. So I think he doesn't Mega Evolve. They have they have a you know they have a similar move set. Obviously, she's got fairy moves and he's got a fighting move or two. But they've both got like psychic confusion. You know all the like the the mainstay psychic moves. They 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 I'm pretty sure they both have barrier. If they if Gardevoir doesn't have barrier, she doesn't definitely has light screen or, or something. The that is basically barrier if, if for for the sake of our conversation. I think all that to say that Mewtwo still wins. Um, I think it's a close match. I think they both put up a good fight. I think Mewtwo's got the intelligence and the speed, and Gardevoir might have the power, maybe, but probably not. And I think Mewtwo's gonna do it. He's gonna. He's gonna. This is the redemption arc for all the Mewtwo. I know. For all the Mewtwo stands who were who were <laughs> disappointed that Kirby ate him. And there goes.